Okay guys, how are you? This is Stephanie with the Soul Sister Mod Art channel and we're back here tonight to do a quick energy check-in. And then I'm gonna get all of you guys your weekly reads out because I know I'm behind. So I wanted to start out with, I'm gonna do some angel cards for you guys. So there's been some tough energies all weekend long. We had them last week too. So we're in the pink moon, and it is another one of the super moons. The other name for it is the grass moon, and also um, it represents the pink phlox, which is a flower. So anyways, just thought I'd give you guys a little piece of info, and I hope everybody had a really good weekend and things are going really well. Okay, so these are from our angels. Let's see what's going on here. Our messages. All right, let's see. And this is for all signs, okay? So, presence. This card comes up when you guys are going through ascension symptoms. You are going through awakenings, you're getting downloads, um, you're connecting to spirit. So that's awesome. It's really awesome. Okay. And we got the angel of abundance. Look at this, you guys. This is awesome. A lot of you have been doing a lot of shadow work. So when you've worked through a lot of that stuff, oh gosh, it's a lot easier. So that goes with the presence. You guys have been doing good because now you have abundance coming forward in all different areas of your lives, okay? And transformation. Look at that, guys. Transformation. That's awesome. You guys have been doing a lot of work. A lot of it's painful. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. Strength. Okay. That's the angel of strength. So you guys are being strong. And they're giving you strength to get through the transformation. And to get to the abundance. But to get through all of your shadow work you've been going through. And revelation. There's the angel of revelation. So somebody's blowing a trumpet in your ear. There's something that you're getting an epiphany about. You're getting an epiphany about something. It's like a light bulb going off, you know? Okay. Archangel Michael. Yeah, look at that. He's number one out of them. He's on the job here. He's on the job with you guys. So, okay. All right. So, we're not going to do any more of those. Okay. So, that's awesome. We got all these angels. So you guys got a lot going on. Okay, so I did pull some um, crystal cards for you guys. So, and you know, I am going to get a video up. I forget all your, um, the elements up for all your zodiac signs. I will get you guys the, a couple of videos up about crystals and um, some other things. You'll see. Just look. It's more fun stuff to talk about. Okay, but this is Brazilianite. Okay. It's really pretty. I don't have a piece of it here with me, um, but this is about flexibility. So this is about being flexible. Ooh, they're telling me in some decisions that you're gonna make, like compromising, okay? Compromising. So you need to be flexible, you need to compromise, okay? Open-minded, be more open-minded. Okay, so that's Brazilian night, guys. Get you some of that. Then map, I can never say this right. Macrolite or matcholite, anyway, but this is all about healing, okay? But this stone also gives you strength and I mean, it, I don't know, it just makes you feel strong. I love this one, and uh, I've got one right here, and it works for protection as well. You see it? It's really pretty, but it works for protection as well. But healing helps with your heart chakra, okay? So, you guys. If you can get your hands on some of that or go buy some, that will help a lot. And then this one is really cool. And I don't have any here either, but it's called Morganite. And this is relationship healing, okay? So this is any kind of relationship. Friendship, romantic, kids, you know, work-related, but any kind of relationships that you need to work on healing, okay? So that's Morganite. So you got Brazilianite, you got Matcholite, and then you got Morganite, okay? Let's see, let's pull some tarot. Let's see where you guys are all on now. So 
since he got to last week, he got to this. So he got through the weekend because I know there was a lot of stuff going on. There was a lot of heavy energies over the weekend. I got a lot of messages that a lot of people are going through a lot of different things, making different decisions for themselves that are better decisions. Um, decisions to put them in a better place in their lives. So, anyways. Some of those things can be hard, so when you have to get rid of the old to let the new come in, it's not as easy sometimes, so. And if you guys have a hard time hearing me, turn your volume up on your device, whatever you're watching on, okay? All right. Well, ha. Overall energy. The devil in reverse. Okay. So depending on the next couple cards that come out, this can mean a couple of things. So let's first see what else we have to come out. All right, let's see. All right, spirit. Okay, got the lover's card. So we got Gemini energy, we got Capricorn energy here. Let's see what else, spirit? We need to know the general overall energy for all my soul tribe. Hmm. Cave to Swords in reverse. Okay, so, hmm, hold on, I'm gonna destroy it here, what it's got going on? Ooh, hmm, this sounds good for you guys, I'm happy, I'm happy, okay. All right, let's look at this for a second, okay? So, we got the devil in reverse here, so this is that Capricorn energy, so, with the cards in the sequential order that they're coming out now, this is telling me that this Capricorn, or it could be, um, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, it could be a work partnership, it could be something going on with somebody's family, um, but it's more of an adult than it would be anybody else, and they're in the devil energy means they broke something in the reverse, because the next card is the lovers, and they're upright. So... Whatever toxicity, whatever crap that was going on that was holding these two apart from each other. Mm-hmm. The cycle, it's been closed. Whatever that toxicity was, it's over. It broke. It's done. That's so awesome. I love it. Okay. So, then, the Page of Swords in reverse, this usually is, you know, the dirty bird. The person that comes in... They're full of crap. They fly in, come fast. Um, they can be reckless with their words. They can be mean. Um, this is the stalker card, you know? Or it could be somebody planning something that's not nice to do to somebody. But with all these other cards here, this means this behavior that this person was displaying, which could be this person too, which is Gemini, or they could have Capricorn, they could have Gemini in their chart, but they have broke it. They're not they're not coming in, doing that anymore. The three-party situation, see that? Mm -hmm. The third-party situation, the other person, or it could be something that takes another person's attention away um, that they you know, don't have time for that other person. So that is over too. That is broke. So this is so cool. I'm so excited for you guys. Okay. Yep. Okay. Three of wands. So that three party situation, wands is full of pa This is passion energy. Okay. This is Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But this person has put those three choices down. See, he's holding one wand. And he's, he's looking back and going, okay, let this crap go. Okay? That's awesome. Okay. And we have five seats. So yeah, we got the eight of swords. This used to be, this person was in this energy. I, I, I said he, but it can be female, but I feel like it's a male. Like I said, this could be Capricorn. It could be Gemini. Um, Leo. Libra. Yeah, okay. So then, the next is, but it could be female, okay? There's so many of you, and this is collective energy, so this could be a feminine that has come to, you know, her senses. It could be a masculine, okay? Take it how it resonates with you. If it's not your story, throw it away. If it, if it, if it 
falls with you, then it's yours. Congrats, because it's awesome. Anyways, it's somebody's story out here, or a couple people's. So, anyways, congratulations. This is awesome. Okay. Then we have the battle, the bloodshed. Okay? That was the fight. That's over. Yep. The puppet, I call this my puppet master. This is the two of pentacles. So, this is like juggling two options, or somebody's like controlling you in a way, okay? And it's over money in reverse. So it's over. Another good card. Yes! <laughs> and we have the Empress in reverse, okay? Now, normally this card is not good in reverse. This is not we, we want the Empress in upright and she's awesome. But the Empress in reverse this is not good, okay? So this was somebody in this person's life that she was for all the wrong reasons, okay? He realized it. He sees through her colors now, or she sees through his because this could be a masculine that has a lot of feminine energy, okay? But in the reverse, that's all the queens backwards, okay? That's everything backwards. That's the five of swords, okay? That's change. But it can be um, trickery. It can be fighting. It's so it can be a battle, had or won. But in reverse, it's over. It's done. The person sees through it, okay? So... <clears throat> She's been discovered, or he's been discovered. This is Libra energy, okay? Libra energy. And then you have strength, okay? That's the Leo. So you got strength here. But that's also Leo coming, all right? So see, this is a story. Somebody came out through all their negative energy, things that weren't serving them good, um, more than one person in a situation or it could be a job or it can be an obsession that someone had it could be an addiction someone had but they've overcome it they've figured it out um, but there was definitely three people here involved so like I said we have Capricorn we have Gemini we have Libra we have Leo on the board um, there is some Taurus energy here as well okay then we have the Eight of Wands, okay? This is all that passion coming forward. Do you see it? That's coming forward. That's coming out of all of, well, the Five of Swords, which it was reversed. All of this is up in your head, being, feeling stabbed in the back, could be all kinds of things that went wrong really I mean like really 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 wrong okay so like I said you have the devil energy here okay let's see what else is going on here oh, it's more spirit <laughs> okay whoops okay ace of pentacles I mean yeah ace of pentacles this is getting back on track with money honey Okay, getting back on track with your money. <laughs> Here you go, Ten of Cups. That's what you want, the Ten of Cups. <laughs> and there's the Queen of Cups. Okay, so this Capricorn got over his devil energy and it could have been a they could have Gemini in your chart you could have Capricorn in your chart but this is the lovers this was a third party situation like I said spirits tell me yep when somebody has seen the light they want their ten of cups their happiness they've made a decision they've kicked either some habits some obsession or dating several people a bunch of crap going on that should have not been going on. Um, there was a, a, a Libra involved that was not in their right mind, not in their good, not in a good place at all. That they were messing around with more than likely. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Yep. 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 Yep.
Okay, so no juggling anymore. There was money involved. That was part of whatever this third party situation was. And like I said, you have to do the job, you have to do <clears throat> with owing somebody money or somebody borrowing somebody money. But let's see. But the overall energy is the Ten of Cups getting to that sweetheart. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so now you have the Queen of Cups. Okay. Remember here? Working on that. That person that you're going to, male, female. This is the Queen of Pentacles. She has a crap together. She's focusing on her money, not love. She's focusing on her money. She's organized. She's strong. She stands her ground like the Queen of Swords. I mean, I'll, I follow the Queen through actually. So, but that is a good Queen. She's the slowest Queen in the deck. She's the, like she's the slowest mover because she's strategic. She thinks things out. She's making good decisions for herself. Okay. And then we have the Ten of Coins. There she is now. That's what she's been working on. Been working on those ten of coins, saving up. There's the jar, putting it all away. Okay. And that's Taurus energy you have there. Let's see, what else, spirit? What else? So the Page of Cups. That's Scorpio energy. That could be the Capricorn. It could be a Gemini. It could be, you know, any, you could have this anywhere in your chart. But this is feeling really young and giddy. Playful. It's a small offer. It's not a big offer. It's a small offer. I mean, we don't have a keen up here on this board, but we do have this Capricorn upside down, and we do have the Gemini here, okay? So, it's more than likely Capricorn, Gemini, and Scorpio, because we got a, a in Taurus, okay? And then we have the Two of Cups, okay? Partnership. That's the love, remember? And then you got the Ten of Cups. Yeah, got the Ten of Cups. This is awesome. Okay, you guys. Huh. We're going to end there. Because I, yep, yep. Okay, look. I flipped the deck over and won a cup. Ace of Cups. So, that's that page. Coming back with a cup. Okay. <laughs> and then underneath that, you got the King of Cups. And they're just coming in order. I don't know what to tell you. That's awesome. This is a cool read for someone. So this is the King of Cups. Okay. He's ready with his Ace of Cups. <clears throat> and he was the page, but he moved up to the Ace. Now he's the King. Okay. So I think he was in this really bad devil energy. He kicked whatever that was that was giving him problems. He got rid of the extramarital affair or the girlfriend or boyfriend i mean you don't know he could be bisexual or she could be lesbian it doesn't matter but um yeah here we go three too many okay so it came in reverse it's over come to your senses that's awesome came out of that stalker energy that page of swords that we had here that was reversed because that's your dirty word. You don't want that. So this person has grown. And you know what? We had all these cards here about presence, okay? That's spiritual awakening, like I said, ascension. It's getting downloads. And we got that before abundance is coming. Yep. Oh, the lights change. Huh, anyway. Okay. Then transformation. Mm-hmm. So this person went through a lot, okay, clearly. And they had the strength to overcome all of this stuff that they were working on. Oh, 
This is so cool. And Revelation. So the trumpet going off. Remember, we went through all of this and they figured it out. Okay. So anyways, guys, that's a little quick check-in for you. And like I said, I'm really happy for whoever this is because somebody's really, really been working on themselves. Spirit says, let's, let's throw. Nope. Let's give you guys a merman or mermaid card and see there. Okay, Spirit, tell us. Give them a little oracle card to close this out for all my collective. Okay, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, please. Okay, share. And also, remember my email is soulsister951 at gmail. Dot com. Visit me at Soul Sister V on Instagram or go to my Facebook page and go there, which is Soul Sister Enterprises. Or you can go to me, Stephanie Vargas, on Facebook, and they're both connected. So, but I uh, <clears throat> would love to do Reiki on anybody that needs it. Um, I'm open, <clears throat> excuse me, for personal leads right now so i uh, my schedule is not completely booked right now but feel free we still have a 20 percent special going on on everything totally a couple more days left okay i do have a few spots so call me i mean go to messenger get a hold of me if you know me call me if not email me um go to my facebook you can book an appointment there there's a button that shows you how to book it, or like I said, find me on Messenger, Instagram, but you can get a hold of me, and I'd love to help you. All right, come on, Spurs, let's close this out. Tell my lovely collective. Okay. Friendship. Okay. Can't have that great two of cups, that ten of cups, without a friendship. Any one flip, and any one flip. So, you're going to have an oh. <laughs> Got a double confirmation with the other cards. But remember, you need friendships with everything. So work on all your friendships, but you're going to have, I mean, look at these two. Aren't they cute? It's going to be an awesome, awesome relationship. Whoever this is for. Abundance. Look at that. We had abundance. <laughs> we had abundance too. And um, the angels. So where's that one? Yep, right here. See? Double confirmation. This is so cool. Acceptance, okay? So, you guys may have to accept some different things from each other. Which, remember, the flexibility. Yep, Spirit just told me to remind you about that. You had a flexibility card. Anyway, you had flexibility. So, that's with acceptance and compromise, okay? You guys can do this. And... You also have innocence. So bring fun into this. Be playful with each other. Show your innocence towards each other. Okay? And recognition. You guys are going to get recognized for something, a bunch of you. Could be at work. Or it could be this person finally recognizing that other person for what they're worth. Okay? All right. And then, let's pull from the last bottom one, relaxation. Oh, see the lights? There you go. <laughs> and see, it's way over here. I don't switch it. That's spirit. You guys need to relax, a bunch of you. It could mean some of you are going to go on a trip, though, too. So, but you saw that. You guys need more sleep. More sleep. I'm in the same boat. I do, too. So, all this stuff that I talk about, I take myself in account with all of it as well, because we're all on this journey together. So anyways, I'm going to end this with telling you guys nothing but love and light. I hope the rest of your week is amazing. And whoever this read was for, I hope it was for a whole bunch of you um, that this is happening for, because this is really cool. It's really awesome. And it's this is a good thing. This is what we want to see in the world. We want to see people come together. We want to see more love spread. We want to see more relationships healed. So congrats to 
however many of you this read was for. All right. Have a wonderful week, like I said. And nothing but love and light. See you guys.